hey guys welcome back as you've seen in today's video we have my morning routine as a stay-at-home mom of three who also homeschools so on a typical day I'm usually waking up anywhere from set between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. and so I do have timestamps on the screen but those are merely just so that way you guys can see about how long it takes me to do some of these chores and hopefully it'll give you some motivation to kind of see wow you can get a lot done in such a short amount of time so obviously first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bed. Usually I do not have a little small child in my bed with me. My husband's usually already out of the bed and I'm able to fix the bed with ease. And then once the bed is fixed, we are gonna go ahead and head into the bathroom and just start freshening ourselves up. So once we are done with brushing our teeth and washing our face, it is time to go ahead and get into some skincare. You guys, if you are a stay-at-home mom, please take care of yourself. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel beautiful. Your skincare routine does not have to be this huge, elaborate, 10-step skincare routine. Usually mine is usually the max three to five products, and I do it very, very fast. So once I'm done in the bathroom, sometimes I'll go ahead and get dressed before I come out of the bathroom. And that's usually on a day that I wake up a little late. But on a day where I actually have the time, I will come out of the bathroom and go directly into filming my morning devotional that I have been posting every morning on TikTok if you would like to join me. And it's about a five minute devotional. So once I am done with the re with everything inside of my room, it's time to go ahead and venture out to the rest of the house. I call this waking up the house. I like to open all the blinds and all the curtains. I Now that the Texas heat is starting to arrive, I only leave the blinds and curtains open for, until about 11 a.m. because by that point it's already reaching like 80, 90 degrees and we wanna you know preserve some energy. But once those are done, you know, it's time to just go ahead and start on some kitchen chores and then just go ahead and get the house all straightened up.
So once the house is good and straightened up and just ready to receive my family for the day, I do go ahead and get dressed so that way I can be good and ready to receive my family. And then we're gonna go ahead and move into our chore of the day. On the specific day that I filmed this, it was a Monday, so my chore for the day was cleaning the bathrooms. And then Tuesdays, I will vacuum the whole house. Wednesdays, mop the house. Every other Thursday is grocery shopping day or I will pick a chore like dusting or you know cleaning the walls or just some kind of other big chore that needs to be done often in the home and then fridays are free days but usually by this time um, once i'm good and ready in the house the outside of the house is straightened up it's time to go ahead and get into our chore of the day So before I personally eat, one thing I really need to do is spend more time in the Word of God. So this is where I go into my deep dive Bible studies, whether they be the Daily Grace Co., my BSF work, my Read and Write the Word, or if I am reading a book for mentorship on being a wife or being a mother and taking notes. Those are the types of things that I do at this time, and I highly recommend that everyone find time to work this time in. You see my child is up, but you know, um, I am training my children up in the way that they should go and they are getting to see that okay mom spends time in the word every morning dad spends time in the word every day I need to make that time and they are also trained to allow us to have that time Alright guys, and then like I said, after Bible study, then it's time for us to eat. Bryson wanted, I believe, pancakes, and then he saw that I was going to make myself some sausage and eggs, so then I made him some pancake sausage and eggs as well. And then we just enjoyed our morning together and had breakfast together, and if you're wondering where my other two kids are, they're just still sleeping. <laughs>
So after breakfast, it's time for our daily chores. So chores that I do every day. Sometimes, usually on Sunday, the load is not big enough in the dishwasher to start Sunday night. So I will start it Monday morning and then put it up before we have lunch. Or start, yeah, put the dishes up before we have lunch in the afternoon on Monday. And then, you know, just doing laundry and tidying up, opening the blinds, watering plants, and these are all the things that I do every day, just going through every room and making sure that every room is tidied and everything is in its place. And once I am done with my daily chores, then it is time for me to go wake up. Whatever kids are still sleeping, it's always different. It's like every kid picks a day to wake up early and some days, you know, they all sleep in late. But once they are good and woken up and they're starting their morning routine, I go ahead and get some work done, some social media work. So whether this be replying to emails or editing for YouTube or getting TikTok things edited, I will do some form of social media work before we start homeschool. So usually I only work until the boys are done with breakfast and have gotten themselves stressed and whatnot and then we start homeschool. So my boys have a morning routine as well. It's pretty similar to mine only they don't have as many things to do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Remember that I love you guys and Jesus loves you more. And if you enjoy seeing these type of videos go ahead and let me know in the comments.